Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Tuesday. So what's really happening on the market, guys? Uh, yesterday, the market wasn't moving that much. So as you can see that uh, I'm on DXY. But the first thing that you should know is it's FOMC week tomorrow, actually tomorrow. But the whole week, the market will be affected by that. You see, so let's go straight to those in news. Uh, let's see, today it's Tuesday. Mm, for US, we don't actually have any economic news. It's only for Canada. And another one, uh, it's on Wednesday. Very important, uh, federal uh, funds rate. So these are interest rates for US. When we check the estimates, they say uh, they might not actually increase. They might post. If they do that, that will be very great. That will be very great because when we check other stocks or other markets, they actually went lower or they pushed very, very, very low. So which means they we might see a bounce back because on Friday, the market was like seriously selling. The market was seriously selling on NASDAQ and USD2. So Thursday, as usual, we have uh, unemployment claims plus interest rates for GBP. So yeah, this week is going to be very interesting. Very, very interesting. So unemployment claims also half past four. So half past two, which is also going to actually move the market. But mostly it's going to be gold. On Friday, it's a manufacturing PMI. So this also moves, especially when we talk about uh, NAS, uh, uh, gold. But also NASDAQ and the other ones, they will move, but not really that crazy. So we need to check this. We need to check this. So, but for now, the most important thing is the interest rates, guys. Because if they increase or decrease, we're going to see some crazy moves. We're going to see some crazy moves. Anyways, uh, let's push to actually our interest rate, uh, sorry, our charts. But before I continue, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. We, you can see on the screen that we still have that unlimited. So I'm going to push this until month end. For, so for, for those who want to join, just let me know. It's unlimited. You pay once. And we have actually a Patreon account. Check on the description if you want some exclusive stuff. Just go there. Check the link below. Then you can go there. So thank you very much. Thank you very much in advance. Right? So now we are actually on DXY. What's really happening DXY has been pushing to the upside, guys. That's why we see the market also pushing lower. Uh, that's why we see the market pushing lower. Remember, it doesn't mean that every time you see DXY, uh, NASDAQ, and US USDT are forced to uh, to do to go on the opposite direction. No, it's not really like that. DXY and the NASDAQ and whatever, they are not actually 100% uh, correlated, you see. They are negatively correlated, but not 100%. So which means, yeah, some days you will see them going in the same direction. That's possible. So what's really happening, I think, is just straightforward, guys. The market is just giving us a very nice uptrend. The market is actually pushing to the upside. If you still remember a few weeks ago, I showed you about the structure. And the market is doing that. You see, the market is just consolidating before pushing up. If you master this, uh, this type of moves, guys, you're not going to miss. Not every day, but most of the time you're going to eat. You're going to understand what will happen when the market is creating something like this. So now we see that the market is actually on this uh, support area. We will see the market doing something like that, unless if maybe the market uh, decides to sell. But today, I'm not expecting to uh, to look for buy, sell, or nope. Especially if uh, that pair includes the dollar, because the market is actually focusing on tomorrow's interest rates you see so we have to actually pay attention to that so plus by not trading today it's not really a ma any 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 it's not like it's bad it's only respecting the rules they are economic news that we're supposed to respect right so on gbp usd as i already showed you on our weekly analysis you can see that the market has been actually on a very nice uptrend or let me just show you that some people maybe they're the first there is the first time they actually see 
or get to 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 see my channel so yeah we had a structure like this where the market was doing what was pushing to the upside this was a very nice uptrend you can see that so what happened is the market just broke out here and which means now the market wants to do what to change the trend and start to push the lower side i think here we have to have a a pending order very quick we have to have a pending order very quick the market just broke out remember this uh, breakout is still very fresh so it means we can still enjoy most of uh, of uh, the moves that is going to happen here as this can actually last for more than six months or um, it depends trends last longer that's why i like to follow the trends so what are we going to do we can have a sell um below this support or maybe when the market pushes up to that point and then we can have a, a trade once the market retests here or when the market breaks out there i hope you see that i hope you see that so that's how actually um i'm seeing this thing i'm expecting to actually continue selling the reason behind that is yes we are actually still on that downtrend the structure is still not really that perfect but uh when times goes on we're going to have something like this and that is going to be our trend line or our resistant trend like uh, our down resistant down trend is down trending so we have to have a resistant line there so that's what we're going to do on gbp usd so let's push to the next one which is euro usd so on euro usd i think the market already reached that point where we can say maybe we can think about selling but be before we go there uh let's go and check the bigger picture of the structure uh the structure is still actually very clear uh, we were actually on a very nice uptrend very 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 nice uptrend but uh it shows that the market is no longer on that uptrend guys uh, the uptrend was moving very nice straightforward guess what we saw a breakout now we're supposed to look for what for sell positions the market is now downtrending so we just have to identify the structures that we can actually keep selling and i think already here it's a very nice structure that we can say you know what uh, i think that you see around this area the market already started to give us clues the market started to give us clues i think this area you can see here I think we might see a retest here pushing lower. But guys, today the market is not going to give us any chance. I don't think we, as we've been trading, we know that uh, the market doesn't really react very nice, especially when we expect some economic news. So for us to, to be safe and not to just risk unnecessarily, we have to take it slow. We have to, it's better to stay out of the market. The market we can, some, some, most of the time, the market will consolidate. Why? everyone is just speculating about what will happen tomorrow so some they taking out their funds some they aiding so that will actually push the market to go sideways and if you know you can save yourself just wait for tomorrow after the news you will know the directions or maybe the results then it's where you can start to, uh, to trade if you trade the news you can also do that but it's better to know when it's the right time to trade and when it's not right it's like understanding the time you know that walking around 12 uh, p.m uh, some other places is not really safe but you still do that what do you expect what do you expect there's the same rules here there's other times so we have to stay out i hope you understand that so what i see here is we're still on this downtrend but i'm just expecting a very nice uh, actually push the lower side i think i'll have to send that but i'll tell them take care take care because things might change very quick so let's push to the next one which is gold 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 has been actually surprising us uh, this week last week and this week maybe things will change maybe tomorrow or we don't know but uh, the market has been doing its thing uh, the reversals were crazy the reversals were crazy so what do we see we saw that the market was still pushing to the upside so aggressive uh, 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 we had this aggressive uh, sell but not really that aggressive because it was respecting our structures you see that so it was continuing like that so we thought maybe the market was going to continue like this 
guess what? The market just reversed. So now what we see is, uh, I thought maybe the market yesterday was going to respect uh, that resistance. It seems like the market doesn't actually respect that. The market is not actually respecting that. It seems like now the market wants to push the upside. And this is just the opposite uh, on whatever that uh, the market is doing. If we check other pairs, which they used to correlate with uh, gold, they're not uh, actually matching. You saw DXY is pushing up and even gold is pushing up. Bit surprising there. So I thought maybe yesterday the market will be re uh, the market will be respecting this area. Um nope the market did push a bit lower then we see a breakout there so it seems like maybe the market will retest here before pushing up we'll have to see i think the best way is just to wait and see what really what what's really happening here because we might end up losing unnecessarily we don't really have to lose unnecessarily guys especially when we know that there are some stuff going on in the market as i showed you this is the biggest in yours guys it's bigger than nfp for those who don't know nfp is just oh, over like overrated but it's not really that crazy big it's bigger that's because maybe some people they started to know uh, fundamentals by nfp but interest rate cpis actually they are way too bigger than nfp uh, but anyways maybe you will catch up with that uh, so what i see is the market is trying to push lower so i will just stay out and see what's really happening i don't really want to end up fighting the market because you will sell and it will reverse or maybe you will buy then the market keeps pushing lower but this happens guys it happens so <clears throat> no decision actually on on gold yeah now we are actually on us 30 let me show you this actually on a daily time frame what's really happening on a daily time frame on a daily time frame very nice uptrend very nice uptrend uh, the market went actually lower uh, since Friday. Yesterday, the market tried actually just to show us the support areas. And I think that is a good thing. I think tomorrow, guys, I'm just thinking tomorrow we might see around 8 o'clock when they release the F F F FOMC rates. I think we might see the market pushing up. Guess what? Uh, maybe you will see this. The market actually just reversed. And when we check, we never had crazy economic news. The market just reversed towards our support, but it's no longer pushing that much. And mostly when the market comes around this support, we know very well that after this, after this uh, support, after the market touches these areas, we see the market pushing to the upside aggressively aggressively you can see this you can see here so now we're just waiting for this point to see if maybe it's going to continue like that so if not it means that maybe 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 we're gonna see maybe the market uh breaking out of this support area then we'll say okay now is that time where we're supposed to do what to look for sales but what we uh what i've realized is those companies uh, which are you can get them inside uh, us 30 and nasdaq they were performing very well they were performing very 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 good so i don't really see it breaking but it's possible we might see maybe the market breaking out but for now uh, i think the market will actually try to push to the upside so let's go on for hours time frame just to see uh what actually i'm talking about you can see that we are back on this support area this is actually a stronger area most of the time the market touches this area and pushes to the upset yesterday we saw the same thing but the market did not really push that higher so the market just reversed so i'm also expecting to see i'm just expecting to see the market consolidating around this area or the market might even surprise us and just shoot to the upset after touching this support area. So be extra careful. If not, we also have a, a lower support. Uh, this is actually a stronger one. You can see down here. So maybe, maybe the market will be reaching these points there and maybe pushing to the upset. If not, maybe we'll see some breakouts. But I'm, I still believe that we are on a very nice uptrend. Please don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. So 
also on nasdaq you can see that yes uh, quite similar structures let's go maybe on a daily time frame you will see let's go on a daily time frame come on you can see that yes the structure is actually straightforward the market has been actually just showing uh some very nice push the market was still pushing to the upside and where we are now it's also attractive to actually buy because the market actually tried to give us some sell positions and if you check if you check this point here we see a very nice aggressive push we never had so many uh, reversals you see that these are aggressive reversal around the same uh, area which means we actually have enough room to say there is a chance for the market to continue with a stronger bullish momentum because we had enough of this bearish structure so you can see the market tried to push up but the bearish momentum is been around guys you can see this portion only we saw some crazy sell along the way so it means we've been actually the market did adjust very nice so there is en enough strength in the market to actually see the market continuing to do what to push the upside but the best thing is to understand what will happen tomorrow if they're going to pause or cut the rate or increase that is going to change the market uh, the, uh, the way the market moves but anyways the most important thing is going to be what will happen next if they increase now if they pause now what will happen next or maybe next year something like that so anyways what i see here is we are actually on four hours time frame now what i see is the market is now giving us a nice structure the market already created this structure since friday so which means this is now our support area you can easily even see this from this point this is now our new support if it's broken it means maybe the market will find a respect on the bottom one we don't know maybe maybe tomorrow or there is a chance there is enough chance that the market can just find a respect here and start to push the upside or maybe we'll see the market touching the support before we see another push if not maybe the market will continue selling that is also the possibility so anyways don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends guys like share with your friends for those who want to be part of the team uh, this is going to run until month end then from there we're going back on our 150 dollars so thank you very much this is kenzo extra out forex i'll see you on the next one bye